Daniel here, the new acquisitions. Okay, got a bunch of them from the last couple of weeks. Keeping these in the top drawer, not the middle, not the middle drawer. Missing drawers in that that thing of Greg's. Okay, Iron Cat number one, one of the variant edition, the standard variant edition. I really like that. That's she's pretty hot, Iron Cat. Tomorrow, Blake. I've got a first appearance. That's one of the. You know about Peter Parker Angle. I've got that at home. Just a comic I bought a few years ago. It's just lucky to have that one. Green Lantern Core Quarterly number five. Good stuff in there. Okay, I might as well put them back. And uh, I've got the regular edition of Iron Cat number one coming. The standard edition. I bought that this morning. But here's the action figure variant. Bought these two first. So got that and I might even read Iron Cat number one and uh, Supergirl number 13 the rebirth Supergirl number 13 I possibly have number 13 at home I'm not sure uh, back in Canberra that comic the main, the main comic collection is over in Canberra that'll be coming over soon enough okay this was a mystery comic Young All Stars number three I already have it in my collection in Canberra I'm slowly collecting Young All Stars uh, I'm 10 or something or something like that I've got a, I've got these, this comic at home. I've got, two, I think, one or two copies at home. New Titans Angle number nine. First appearance of Anima, the new blood, because I'm a big fan of Anima. I've got two, two more copies just uh, recently, and there's the other copy. Okay. Greenland Core Quarterly number three. With the Greenland Core series soon coming, TV series... I'm feeling the, the quarterlies, there might be a first appearance of something in there which might show up. Maybe Jack T. Chance or something. Don't know. We'll wait and see. But something, there might be stuff from the quarterly which they do. Uh, that's the previews magazine which was sent as a bonus. But uh, this one's Supergirl 13 which is the uh, DC Star logo or whatever you want to call it. The uh, mid-2000s logo. Mid-2000s run of Supergirl. 2007, February 2007. So, um, Supergirl 23, and I've got another copy of this, which I'm bidding on, actually, Supergirl of this comic, because I just collect whatever Supergirl comes up on auction on eBay in Australia. If it's Supergirl, I'll generally get it. I collect Supergirl. Same Blue Beetle and Blue Skull for the most part. Supergirl 36, which is the New 52 stuff, uh, for DC Clover. Uh, nice cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 381. And it's a two-parter, apparently. And 382 is the second part, and I've got 382 as well. Nothing major in terms of keys that I'm all right. It wasn't terribly expensive, those two. But I've got them now. Now, these are the four Supergirls and Adventure comics. And one of them is nice grade. Quite a nice grade. 383, which is mid-grade. 385, which is uh, mid grade plus. Three, 400, which is probably low grade, really. It's uh, mid low, but it's solidly connected. I looked inside, it's solidly connected to the cover, but it's, uh, it's mid low, possibly low grade, 400. And this one's a high grade. This is a this is generally I'm pretty sure a very fine. This one, a four hundred six. That's a VF. That one, Adventure four hundred six. I love my Supergirls. So my my recent bunch of acquisitions. Um, yeah.